Hi there. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the commonly asked question, what are policies? Now, unlike the individual tab, within the group policies tab, you can have multiple policies based on the type of plan you choose, either collect or control. A collect plan is ideal for small groups who only need basic features such as expense approvals, reimbursements, and integration options. A control policy is the most popular option. For a much deeper level of control and policy configurations, a control policy offers multi-stage approval workflows, expense audit rules, in-depth integrations, and much more. All subscriptions are managed from the settings, policies, group page, under the subscriptions dropdown. Group policies in Expensify are essentially autonomous core structures of rules, parameters, and guidelines. Different policies allow different sets of rules to be applied to different sets of employees. We primarily see different policies utilized for different departments. The marketing department may have their own policy. The sales may have their own policy. The idea is that you simply invite users to where they belong. You build up their very specific set of rules, guidelines, and approval workflows, and they're off to the races. Because group policies are autonomous from one another, this means that employees are only able to submit expense reports through the policies that they're invited to. As an admin, you may be able to oversee multiple policies, but as a submitter employee, they can only submit reports based on what they've been invited to. This allows you to build drastically different workflows for different sets of employees. There's no charge whatsoever for building out different policies. It really just depends on how specific you want to get with these rules. This is where you'll connect your accounting software, invite and set up employee approval workflows, and in effect build the workflow submitters will adhere to. In the Expenses tab, we'll set up the first tier of violation thresholds. Max expense age, amount, and the receipt required amount. If any employee a part of this policy breaks these rules, or any others set up in the policy, the line item expense will incur a violation and be plucked out of any automated submission established in the policy. More on that in a bit. Cash expenses are anything not tied to a company card bank feed. Check out our video on domains for more on that. If an employee has a company card assigned to them, the system will assume that any smart scanned receipt will be matched to a transaction in the corresponding bank feed. If this is an out of pocket reimbursable expense, it can be marked as cash and these settings will take over. Next up under reports, we see the scheduled submit functionality. It says it best here. Expenses will be automatically assigned to the newest open report in that employee's respective dashboard. Based on your frequency preference here, concierge will then submit the violation free expenses on the employee's behalf, whether that be daily, weekly, or monthly for approval. Basically, in a nutshell, employees will smart scan receipts, will automatically create the report, and add the line items to it. If there are any red flag violations, we'll alert the employee to fix it before allowing that expense to be included on the automatic submission. Connections. Pretty self-explanatory. This is where you'll connect and configure your accounting software as well as your HR integrations and travel integrations. Once you've integrated with your accounting software, We'll go about pulling in the categories, codings, customers, projects, jobs, basically anything your line items need to be coded with, they'll be pulled in. Categories is where your categories are imported according to your chart of accounts in your accounting software. Here you can edit your GLs, which ones are selectable and which ones are available to submitters when they click into that dropdown on each line item expense. You can also set categorical specific rules as well. Tags, that's where all other dimensional coding information gets pulled in. Customers, projects, jobs, all that stuff like that, right here. People is where you'll be able to invite users in and set up their approval workflows. This is a great time to bring up each module's link to our help documentation. Each aspect of the policy will have at least one article walking through tips and tricks, best practices, and terminology. Reimbursement is where we determine whether you'll be using our free ACH direct deposit feature or initiating and completing reimbursements outside of the platform via integration or export. 
The ACH direct deposit feature is fantastic. Employees simply have to set up what account they'd like their money to be reimbursed to. Then upon final approval, we batch that ACH. The money gets back into the employee's account within 24 hours and you pay the bill at the end of the week. On top of that, all reports that are reimbursed within Expensify are marked as such when they reach your accounting software. In a nutshell, to get set up with Expensify, all you need to do is start a group policy, set up your integrations and rules, and then start inviting your submitters. And that's it. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to click the call button found throughout the policy, or simply reach out to concierge right here for chat support.